are entrusting you with the most noble task any warrior has ever had, the privilege to carry out the task of preserving American liberty. As long as you remain loyal, faithful, and true, then our enemies don't even stand a chance. Our rights will never be stolen. Our freedoms will never be trampled. Our destiny will never be denied. And the United States of America will never be defeated. The president charging those 1,100 new graduates, cadets, now second lieutenants, uh, is going to give them their give them their mission, which is to preserve liberty. Quite something. I want to bring in now Sarah Sanders, Fox News contributor and former White House press secretary, to find out. Sarah, it was quite a moment. What do you make of the president's address? Good morning. I, I, you know, I thought the president did a great job uh, calling out the evils of racism and also talking about the country coming together and reminding so many people what America is all about and that some of those individuals sitting in that crowd represent the very best of America. Uh, those that are willing to put their lives on the line um, and, you know, in some cases pay the ultimate sacrifice to keep us free, to give us liberty and to live in this great country. And I thought it was a great speech. I thought the president rose to the occasion yesterday and did a great job delivering a message that all Americans needed to hear, not just those that were in attendance yesterday. Absolutely. Sarah, you know, all those second lieutenants will be wearing the American flag patch on their shoulder. The flag was flying uh, that day, the president talks about being proud of our nation and of that flag. But right now, we're in we're in quite a moment uh, where you know in in Seattle, you've got an autonomous zone, you've got protests, riots across the country, um, and in one 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 uh, instance in particular in Seattle, you had a protester there um, walking through the streets with an American flag. It's ripped down. You know, we've heard about tearing down statues, renaming bases. Um, but it all seems to come back to the, the flag. What is it about the flag to the left, to the haters of the president, um, that, that make them reject it so much? <laughs> That's a question you'll have to ask them because I, I couldn't understand that and I can't fathom people um, out there saying that they all support freedom and liberty and justice because to me that's exactly what the American flag stands for. And the fact that those individuals wanted to go and rip it from another American's hands um, when the whole idea is coming together as a country, loving one another, I think that we saw on full display exactly what they really want. They really only want people that think like they do, yes. talk like they do, and sound like they do. They love the idea of people coming together as long as they come together with the exact same ideas that they have, which is the opposite of what America is all about. That is the beauty of this country is that we can have different opinions, different ideas, and that we can come together and still live in this great country. And the idea that those individuals wanted to rip that flag from another person's hands um, I, I think took away from the message that the point of the protests are supposed to be about. And I think that we've seen a lot of these peaceful protests take place across the country and they have brought awareness and brought a lot of things to the fro forefront for us to have an important conversation. But what we're seeing in Seattle is not that at all. Yeah, you know, Sarah, one of the things that has been brought to the forefront is uh, the problem that exists with a lot of this local political leadership that just hasn't done their job. We've seen that in Seattle and elsewhere. In particular, though, with Seattle, this is a tweet from the mayor, from Jenny Durkin. Seattle is fine. Don't be so afraid of democracy. Now, to say Seattle is fine is utterly absurd if you see what's going on with this autonomous zone. But it also exists in contrast to the police chief, Carmen Best, who said, listen, it's not fine. We can't get in there. If there's someone who has an emergency and needs the police's assistance, we can't get to them in time. And that involves things that could be as bad as rape or murder or violence or theft or whatever it may be. So what's going on with this local leadership? Uh, look, I think that the, the mayor is uh, shown to be a disgrace and being very dishonest in the fact that her city is not fun and it's certainly not under control. Um, and it seems to be just pure chaos. 
I, I think people have a right to come out and peacefully protest. People have a right to be angry about what happened uh, to George Floyd, and people should be able to talk about that. They shouldn't be able to take over entire city blocks, shutting down businesses, shutting down police departments, just because they don't like something. That's not how it's supposed to work, and she needs to take control and some ownership of her city, let people do their jobs, let businesses function. They have pure chaos running in that yeah. area uh, across six city blocks in Seattle, and it is totally out of control. That's that we have to be a country of law and order. And I think we are seeing some of those conversations take place elsewhere, but certainly not in Seattle. Sarah, they've tied their own hands because they, they say they're with the protesters, but ultimately if they want to regain control, they need the cops to do it, but they're against the cops because the protesters are against the cops. And so nothing happens and you've got you know, autonomous zones real quick. And, and let's not forget that a lot of the police officers are African Americans. They're champ they say that they champion Black Lives Matters. And a lot of those, let's not forget David Dorn, a retired police captain in St. Louis who was killed during these protests. Um, if they really care yeah. about what is taking place, they will come together, they will have a conversation, and that mayor's got to take control of that city because what is happening right now um, should not be happening, and it is a disgrace to the real voices and the real movement of people that are trying to yeah. see reform and make things better. That's a great point, Sarah. Yesterday I was talking about David Underwood, the Oakland Protective Service uh, police officer shot. Where's the outrage over that? Just in there. Sarah Sanders, thanks for joining Thank us you, this Sarah. morning. You bet. Thank you, guys.